Where do I even begin with this one? This has got to be one of the hardest solo challenges I have ever done in DayZ so far. Maybe because it involved around looting so much to the point of almost giving up. But I just couldn't. Later you'll find out how stressful this was and how far I came to almost giving up. You will see the real struggle of being a lone wolf in DayZ. So let's begin, shall we? So, on day one, right. So on this adventure, it all didn't start off with me just even thinking about becoming rich, to be completely honest. I was just trying to make videos outside of RP, as that's what I've mainly done on day Z. Anyways, let's start at the beginning. I spawned in Oceanville, a place I recognize from my RP series, as it's on the same map. You guys might be familiar with this. I then looted around to find loot. You know, the basic stuff freshies do when they spawn in. Early on, I was against not going to the safe zone and buying gear, but it would become handy later on. And I was actually against that, you know, going to the safe zone and buying gear. Obviously you start off with quite a bit of money to get you back on your feet. But for this, I didn't thought that that was really the case for me. After a couple of hours of looting, I managed to gather almost all the building supplies I needed to set up my new base. All I was missing was the damn handsaw. And boy, let me tell you, this thing was impossible to find. I looted for 10 years and just could not find it. To ensure I wasn't going to lose everything, I dropped my bag somewhere in the woods and hopefully no one was going to find it. I made sure I stayed close to the area, but still I had no luck in finding the one thing I needed the most. And as it became dark, the server restarted, which made my heart drop. So the couple of hours I had been looting could go to waste if I didn't manage to get my bag. Back? Okay, there you are. And so, the search begin once again. Nothing, man. Absolutely nothing. Is someone searching for the same thing as me or something? <gasps> I found it! I found it! Get the fuck out of here, man! Take it! Take it with you! Okay, we out of here. Finally, after several hours of finding this stupid thing, I could start on building my base. I had previously been searching for a decent area to build. Oceanville was the spot, but activity was common here since it's where most of the spawns are. This I did not know until later on, but that was already too late. And so I also stumbled across a storage crate, which I could take with me. I'm gonna quickly place this one upstairs, and then I found a decent spot to build a home, as I needed a place where I could secure it to the max. Because the things I was going to produce were the most valuable on this server. Come on, come in with me, boy. E, 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 e. Uh, rope, defense kit. Today is a day of glory. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes, it feels good, man. It feels good. This is a real, you know, it's a real moment here, me. Boom. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. So we gotta build like a, a second gate, you know what I'm saying? Go. 
So coming up to day two, with the base being set up and at least secured, it was time to check out the trader. Now, like I said before, I was against it because buying gear instead of looting just doesn't feel right to me. But then I started to find the goal I was looking for. Something to chase, a challenge, an adventure. That was becoming rich. So how this would work is that I would start at zero rubles. And since you start off with 75k rubles, I thought why not buy everything I want just once? You know, a little bit of space supplies, just a tiny bit, and a bunch of gear and loot. You know, to defend myself, and it would all be spent at once. And once I've gotten what I needed, I headed back home in the dark. And I made it back to the base with no sign of anyone being there. With both gates now having code locks, the base was finally safe. Now this is where it gets interesting. You see, I now had a purpose to what I wanted to do. Becoming the richest player in DayZ. Not just the richest player, but the richest lone wolf. You see, I was all on my own for this one, and I could not get any help whatsoever from anyone. So here how this would work. Since it was going to be the most time consuming thing I have yet done in DayZ, the best way to get money is from bricks. How they are made is from a package of any kind of illegal things, Right? And from the seeds, you get the plant. From the plant, you craft the bags. And from the bags, you get the bricks. Sounds pretty easy, right? Yes, and no. See, the hardest thing with this is finding the damn seeds. That's what's so time consuming and just plain torture. But then there's also the other thing, which is also time consuming as well. Killing geared players. Why, you may ask? To sell the loot, my boy, do you get that? But that was hard enough as it is. And since you also have to win a fight with high risk of losing your own gear to having to loot back up again to get a somewhat an equal chance of winning. And that's something I felt that was gonna take even twice as long with everything I was already about to do. Now keep in mind, this is a PVP server, right? People sweat during these hard times of COVID, right? They gotta sweat out here. They gotta get in that leaderboard, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, moving on. Not only would I have to take so many risks, also heading towards the safe zone is a big risk itself, because you never know who's around. Instead, I would be searching for the seeds, and if anyone was in the way, I would try to pick them off. had to oh, I just had to I feel so bad uh, poor dude yeah he didn't have much Yeah, man, there you go. <clears throat> I can do any impression of anyone you can think of, as long as it's male. Yo, can you do JLK? And current. JLK, who's that? Who? The, J? The YouTuber guy. You don't know him? Did you say JFK? You know, like, if, I, if I did President Putin right now, you wouldn't know if it was right. Look, watch. The, what to tell you? You know what I mean? Jason Stratham. Jason Stratham, here we go. So, uh... David Beckham, you can start. What are your thoughts on the current England national team? Well, uh, hopefully, Shut uh, the fuck up. I'll get back in. <clears throat> Listen, man, I'm trying to do impressions. Please don't interrupt. If you don't like it, get the hell out of the safe zone! And take your personality with you. Oi, my name's Jason Stratham. What's the matter, Tommy? Stratham. You not got the minerals? That's not his name, you stupid ass. Statham. I should know he's... Statham. No, he's Stratham. Statham. Jason Stratham, that's what I said. 
Yeah, you got hearing you problem. Said fucking strathem with an R. No, I didn't. You guys spawned the fucking leg. I said so Jason far, Statham. Speak it. Listen, you dumbass. Well, that didn't take long, did it? And you know what else wasn't long? My bank account. It had only been a couple of days since I got on the server. And I needed to make sure that I was making the right and smart decisions. To grow the weed, I needed a place that was going to be big, yet secret enough that people won't bother raiding. But then I figured out, why not have it next to my main base? As having everything in one building might be too risky, as I could lose everything if I pissed off the wrong people. To outsmart the enemy, it would make sense to have the barn as the lab. It was big enough to have three greenhouses down, enough for me to triple the amount of speed and bricks to grow. I still needed to make sure I actively upgraded my main base because that's where the stash will be. And so I wasted no time. I built a workshop that would allow me to build bigger walls and also use less resources. This was mainly to cover up the hole so people could not peek in. So we basically now we just need to make money. <gasps> what? Oh. That scared me, babe. What? In order for me to start growing the weed, I needed money for the greenhouses. Each greenhouse was 20k rubles, which in total was 60k. So what I could do in the meantime is to secure the base first, since I still had resources to use. And so from here, it was all about getting the money. By shooting players, taking their gear, selling their gear, while also keeping an eye out on seeds. But that wasn't really the priority yet, because I couldn't grow them without a greenhouse. Hello, friend. How's it going, dude? You got a microphone? Hey. I killed him. I killed him. He was running up with weapon. Was that your friend? Okay. Get down, get down. That was not nice, bro. I've been killed four times in a row on site, so I'm just doing what I... And I just do what I always gotta do. I think we're good. That was crazy, holy crap. Finally, I had enough to buy some greenhouses. I placed them down and needed to get back on track. Yeah, yeah. oh shit. The lab is completed, man. It's freaking completed, man. It's freaking completed. What's up with it, man? Look at this man, finna grow here and stuff. 
Yeah! You know what I'm saying? I continued looting and selling anything I could find as I was so desperate. I even picked up clothes that people drop at the trader to sell. That's how sad it was. But to be fair though, I did make some money off of it. So now all I had to do was to fortify as much as I could and then start growing the weed. Finally. Yeah, let's build it. Just looks so stupid. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, Kodak. Attach a Kodak. Yes. This is the day, my friends. I finally found a package of seeds to grow. I got a blue gun. <gasps> we just found it! Not just any of the weed seeds, but the rarest one of them all. I ran back to base so fast that my hairlines was taking out a step back every five minutes from the stress of not finding anything. Making my way back to the base safe and sound, and so it begins. Okay, so we need to fertilize it, water it, then plant the seed, right? are in. This is about waiting. This is the waiting game now. What do you think of it, my dude? Yes, it's done! Two bricks, so that's 16 plus 16, 32k. Yes, man, we got, look at that thing, man, look at this. Oh boy, we got the two pound of meth. This was only the beginning, and now that I've stored the bricks I just made, I went out on another run. It seems that this place called Waldeboro was the right place to loot up north, since not many actually went up there. So I thought I'd try my luck to see if I could find any more seeds up there again. The plan was the same. Every time I would find seeds, I would go straight back to the base, grow, wait, craft, and stash. And still no luck after hours of looting, I locked off and called it a night. And so for the last few days, with so many hours spent already, the server was going to be wiped. Keep in mind as well, I recorded this before the 1.10 update. At this point, I was ready to give up. So many hours spent and so much footage I had so far, yet I didn't know what to do with 700 gigabytes worth of footage. Do I quit now? Do I just delete everything and work on another video maybe? I was completely lost and devastated that I thought I should just basically just delete everything.
my wife had made me realize that you start off with 75k rubles. Mine plus hers equals 150k rubles in total. And you might be thinking, wait a second, I thought this was solo only. You're right, it is. But since this came out of nowhere, and I was very close to a wipe that I did not know of. I'd say getting back to exactly where I left off is fair. Not to mention the bricks I had already made were 60k rubles in total. So that minus the 150k led me to have 90k rubles to spend on all of the base supplies I needed to get back on track. You guys don't even know how long this actually took to loot. Hours upon hours upon hours. I went as early as I could to try to get all the supplies I needed to build the base back up, but this time I chose the apartment building, which I could have the greenhouse on the top floor, as well as my stash protected by so many gates. There were people living here pre-wipe, so I had to make sure I was fast enough to take this place. Day 11. This is where everything became difficult. You see, looking back at Waldeboro, the reason why no one went up there is simple. There wasn't any action there. Now with the Y, people were going everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Not even Waldeboro was a good looting spot anymore. Because people were changing their locations now, and even looting for base supplies meant that people were literally everywhere on the map. And so I had to be creative. So this was my plan. Looking from a base to Waldeboro is around 3 kilometers, right? And the route I took were always the safest. Going through the trees, swimming across rivers, and staying out of sight. Since I knew all the greenhouses in the areas I went to, I started to mark them on my map. I mean, since Waldeboro, Mountainville, you know, the place up north, didn't have a lot of activity, even with being closer to where people would hang around, then what happens if we go all the way up north? The north was a long way up, and this town called Portland, which is not a military hotspot, which is why it was the best place to find the seeds. Not a lot of activities there, which only means one thing. The loot stays. Troubles I had have been washed away I'm cleaning up my act and moving on In the silence of my room I'll sleep all night and get up at noon There's nothing to distract me in my dreams Like a pillow on my face No one can hurt or invade my space I still walk the streets with my head
two weeks in and I was halfway. Finally. I was nuts with how much I had looted already. I had to double time it if I was gonna ever get this video done in time. And now, I was less than 90k rubles away from the maximum amount I could have in my bank account, which was 400,000 rubles. Well now being so close, I thought the last rubles to 400k was gonna be made from PvP. Because this video had less of that, I thought it was about time to get that bread. And the last remaining rubles got in, and I could not believe it. I had worked so hard to prove a point. But why? Why did I do this? Was it just to become rich and call it quits? Or to prove that I actually could pull this off? I think it's the second one. But there's more to it though. To prove to myself that I could pull this off on my own. I needed a challenge that would take me on an adventure like no other. No one else, but just me. And even though I got a lot of money, I wasn't thinking of just leaving everything just like that. No, I mean I had worked so hard to prove something, so why not help people by giving away what they need? What you want man, what you want? Give me something, give me something. You want something? Okay man, okay man, give me a 360 spin, let me see what you got on you. Okay, okay. You look what? like, you look like you need at least some kind of, you know, a sniper rifle or something, right? Hey, hey, whoa, 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 man. It doesn't look like you got a night vision on. What are you doing? Hold on a second. You can't be running out here without night vision. There you go, man. You gotta be careful out fuck? here, man. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You're the real center. Oh, yeah. Did I just see that you low on money? That, that's not no, right, man. No, 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 no. That's not right, man. You know, my boy out here gotta <laughs> have some money. One, two, three. Take some money. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? You enjoy that, alright? <laughs> yeah, I will, man. Thank you. You are welcome. Is that a heavy vest? It's a um, MVS Multicam Black. Yo, man, I got, I got you a heavy one, man. <laughs> <laughs> take it, man. Take it, yo, Lima. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Hello, it doesn't look like you have a helmet on. I got you, man. I got your helmet. Yeah, my boy looking good. Yeah, man. Oh, you already know my boy. Gotta hook you up. Well, man, you you are my best friend now. <laughs> I will remember your name. Bob Taylor, my hero. You don't look so thick, do you? I think you need some gear. <laughs> yes. Yeah, your guns. Hello, mate. 
where is your backpack? It's, uh, I said. There you go. I found your backpack. Do you, do you want a tent? Yeah. Go. You are welcome. Thank you, man. Thank you. You are welcome. Fred Skeeto, man! Wake your ass up. I got a delivery for you. <clears throat> Fred Skeeto, um, I'm sure Hansberger has space for this tent, though. In his big backpack. Hmm. Alright, my here you go. Here we go. It's all yours. You're welcome, man. There you go. Hey, Is it Christmas man. already? What are you looking at, Hans? Look like you don't have night vision. Come over here, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? No night vision? Come on, bro. Here you go, talk. man. There you go. What battery too? <laughs> Thank you. The best is like. You are welcome. Yes, yes. you are good. Thank you, my friend. You are. Home. You need some storage? Oh, uh, I got a base, yeah. Got you. There you go. Damn, bro. You need helmet with night vision? Oh, night vision, why not? That's guy. There you go. You are very welcome. You know what they say, right? No money, no problem. You know, you look and you look, you looks like you don't have a night vision on your helmet there. That's, that's not cool. I don't, I don't. But that's why your boy is here. Here you go. Ah, oh, thank you. How's your bank account looking, class? Not so good. My man out here? No money in his bank account? No, nothing. Are you the center? Get a nice vest on. No, no, you don't have backpack either? Wait, wait right there. I'll be right back. Buy him the thickest one. There you go. Thank you, man. How's your bank account looking today, sir? What do you want? You want N NVG? I know you want NVG. There you go. Nice, thanks. Say no more, man. Say no more. I got you. For me? Yeah, for you. I have almost done. I'm almost done. 52k. You're looking for some good helmet, you're looking for a night vision, what are you looking for? <laughs> there you go. Where, good night vision. Who are you? Where, where, where do we met? <laughs> I am Santa Claus, man! Wait, what, you, you're looking good, man? You got money? I got money. What? Yeah, you need to take this. It's Santa Claus. Yeah, you're gonna... I need this? I'm sure you get better vest. You're Spencer. Yeah. I, I got you, man. I got you. Ah, chess, you uh, you. Nice one. Do you need anything? Uh, if, I, if I need any money, I'm not gonna refuse if you give me money. <laughs> and I give you 800. You. Here you go. Do you need another weapon? Yes. Please. There you go. Oh, oh. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Wait, Bye. So there you have it, my friends. What an incredible, crazy, annoying, fun adventure this was. Going from not even knowing what to do to actually have an end goal. And if there's something you should take away from this video is that you can do stuff on your own. I know DayZ is a very hard game to get into and you might not succeed in a lot of things without friends. But don't doubt yourself, alright? If I can do something like this, so can you. Not everyone has friends and that's okay. You can make your own story and maybe someday meet someone that will become your best friend. The world of DayZ is something else. With endless storytelling at great moments, you never know what your adventure will be like. And with that being said, this is Daisy. This is my story.